local people that I'm sure you're going to recognize some of them. You know, Tea Party Express goes all across the country. We get all of this attention and media and press. But we can't do what we do without all of you out there on the ground. And there are so many people that make up this movement, and it truly takes all of us to get this stuff done. And we're really not getting it all done. There's so much more that could be done. That's why it's encouraging the movement's growing. But I have the honor now of bringing up somebody that is all about the Constitution. Don't you love our United States Constitution? Yeah. I'm honored to introduce to you Mr. Randy Constitutional Evangelist Stufflebean. Come on up, Randy. I am an evangelist. I am spreading the gospel of the Constitution everywhere I go. I am also a retired veteran, a retired Marine, spent 20, over 22 and a half years in the Marine Corps. Hoorah, number five. I made an oath to support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And I've got to tell you, folks, I've been around the world, and to my opinion, we've never faced a more evil or vile enemy than our domestic enemy of this Constitution. But i got to tell you, folks, we are not doing all that great on upholding the Constitution and the principles that are in there. This Constitution was established by who? We the people. Let's say that again. This Constitution was established by who? We the people. That's right. We've got nobody else to blame for the way this country's going than we the people. And if you happen to be a part of that, as I am, we've got nobody to blame but ourselves for the condition that this country's in. And part of that is because we don't really know entirely what's in there. We believe in upholding the Constitution. I'm going to demonstrate to you that you may not something you may not know. Veterans, please raise your hand real quick. All right. Out of you all, who is it that has the authority to appoint officers in our United States military? Who? Congress. Congress. Okay, any other guesses? We the people. <laughs> Let's see what the Constitution has to say about it. If I can read it here. Article 1, Section 8, probably one of the most important articles in the Constitution, one of the most important sections. It is the section that mandates, not suggests, what Congress's responsibility is. But here's the interesting thing. In uh, Article 1, Section 8, the 16th clause, if you want to go down there and try counting them down, it says Congress's mandated duty is to support and, let's see, to, boy, I can't even read it, provide for arm, uh, let's see, provide for arming, I have my contacts in. But, um, quickly, quickly, my time is counting down and they're going to throw a, chair, a, a shirt at me. <laughs> they're they're, they're going to throw my shirt. Okay. Okay, here we go. To provide for organizing, arming, and disciplining the militia, and for governing such part of them as may be employed in the service of the United States. Now, we understand who that is, right? Okay. Next part. Reserving to the states, respectively. Did you hear that? Let me, let me read that again. Reserving, respectively, to the states the appointment of officers. Folks, we are not simply ignoring the Constitution. Our United States government is in violation of our United States Constitution. Folks, this Constitution is relevant. Why is it relevant? Why is it important to understand who has the authority to appoint the officers of our military? It's because our founding fathers were free. They were petrified of a standing army that our federal government has control over and could actually use that federal army, military, to go against the citizens of these United States of America. So they put a clause in there that said the states are going to be the appointing authorities for the officers because that's where the loyalty is going to be. Not to the federal government. But because the federal government is appointing the officers, where is the authority and the loyalty now? You see where I'm going with this. This Constitution is relevant. We need to understand not only what's in it, but its relevance to these United States. Folks, I've only got just a couple of minutes here. There's a lot more I want to give to you. Uh, once the Tea Party Express moves on, 
Uh, they're going to continue the process. I'll be back up here because there are some more things that you need to know and understand. We'll talk about a principle in Article 1, Section 9. Now, Article 1, Section 9 is the don't to Congress. It says you cannot do this. And I'm going to talk about some things that are being violated through some legislation that's been passed recently, i.e. Patriot Act, i.e. the NDAA, certain principles in there. And then we're going to talk about a couple of other things. But folks, the Constitution is not only important to uphold. We all believe it's important to uphold it, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It is the foundation that gave cause into the rise of the greatest nation to have ever existed on the planet of this, this earth. Congressmen and, and senators that are violating this Constitution. And I would suggest to you, it's part and parcel because we re-elect them because we don't know that they're actually violating the Constitution. Folks, we need to know when we're upholding what it is we are actually upholding. And then we need to not only uphold it, but we need to enforce it. It is the rule of law for these United States. Folks, thank you very much. Stay with us. I've got some more information on the back table. I do seminars on this. We need to know the relevance of this Constitution. Thank you very much.